the Celtic calendar, the night of the 1st of May balances the night of the 1st of November. We call this 1st of November Décalaguan, which literally is the first day of winter. And it's the beginning of the year because it is the entrance into the dark part of the year. In Breton also, November is Miss Du, the black month, and December is Miss Kerzu, the very black month. Also, a day would start not at midnight, but at sunset until the following sunset. In a way, it resonates with the way I create, or maybe it's just the way life and creativity flow. All starts in the dark, in the unseen, in the invisible world. And if we skip that stage, nothing will show up in the light. When you plant a seed, there's a long process before the plant will develop its roots and eventually sprout out at the surface of the ground. When I start on a project, it can take weeks, but rather months or years before there's anything tangible coming out of the primal idea. And there's a big part of mystery attached to that. In any case, neither the reality of an outcome nor its expected form is guaranteed. There's only hope and trust that at some point something will happen. Down and sunset are special because they are the limit, the passage between the realm of the bright day and the mysterious night, and I always find their magical moments. The light is generally amazing for anything creative, painting, filming or just meditating, bathing in the golden light. The nights of the 1st of November and 1st of May also carry that energy but at a deeper level. There are limits, gates, portals. It's said that during those nights, the veil between the world we see and the unseen one can lift more easily. That communications with the overworld become possible, which can bring insights into the future and inspiration. Entering the bright part of the year really feels different this year for me. But I'm still happy it's finally there. While I can deal with not traveling abroad, being sort of deprived from sunsets and starry skies has been challenging. Until early March, sunset times were within the allowed time outside. Then I started to get up earlier and earlier to at least get a bit of the down but I still miss the nights outside. It's like I'm missing some part of my inspirational darkness. Because as much as I love the bright warm sun, I love when I need sunsets on nights. They are very creative, inspirational and sacred times for my soul. I get more inspired to write, to draw, to imagine, to edit videos, compose, record music, Maybe because at the end of the day I feel freer, like social expectations would be gone, and I can just do and embrace what I love to do. There are still a lot of those things I can do from home, but walks in the night, visit megalith under the moonlight, look at the planet from the hills, feeling small, losing myself under the stars, Driving all night long, I miss it. I miss practicing night photography. When I stare at the dark night, I imagine what I would create and how I will capture this magic someday. Or I let some of that inspiration flow into my paintings. It's no wonder the night is so often associated with creativity and artists. Only in the dark there's something to be revealed. What's under the light we already know and experience. 
Cave art such as Lesko were not made at the entrance of the cave, but way further down, in the darkness. And I feel darkness is the place where ideas can flow out from our subconscious. Because it doesn't flow from the usual planning, from gathering knowledge, from working, from expectations, from overthinking. Well, maybe, I don't know where it comes from, but it just feels natural to meet my creative dreams there. These last six months were different from anything I would have imagined. The darkness didn't come from where I would expect it to come, but in a way I was so totally unfamiliar with. But I'm now getting excited about what will come under the bright light of the bright and summer.